you know, Ripple Labs, because we don't have the need to reimburse validators, um, started off with the biggest chunk of XRP. And our, one of our key roles is making sure that we distribute it as broadly in, in a way that adds as much utility and liquidity as we possibly can. I think our incentives are very well aligned, you know, that uh, for Ripple Labs to do well, we have to do a very good job in protecting the value of XRP and the value of the network. And that, you know, that uh, for Ripple Labs to do well, we have to do a very good job in protecting the value of XRP and the value of the network. And that, and that really is the guiding principle here. In our distribution of XRP, which is kind of a short-term thing, I mean, that will, that will run its course. It's kind of the initial distribution. Um, the objective is how do you bring as, as many market makers, gateways, marketplaces, bridges, incent partners, bring as, as many consumers as you possibly can, hosted wallets as you can. Um, and, and we think that's actually a really great tool that Ripple Labs has to, to add value. You know, for, for those that are skeptical, I would just say um, it's a different approach. Um, give us time. Hopefully we'll earn their trust over time that we're, we're doing this in a way that adds the most value to the protocol. At the end of the day, that's, that's all that matters. Um, and, you know, we're constantly to the protocol. At the end of the day, that's, that's all that matters. Um, and, you know, we're constantly learning. We're trying to, constantly trying to um, maximize how we do that. But um, we think it's actually could be a real strength in, in making sure that things are being done to just add as but, um, We think it's actually could be a real strength in, in making sure that things are being done to just add as much, you know, kind of uh, partnerships and values we possibly can to the, to the protocol.